Well, here we go again, doing uh, another dish. I'm doing a shrimp fried diablo. Um, I first had this at a pizzeria in Westchester. Um, what really stuck out to me was the big chunks of garlic. They do a nice rough chop on the garlic, so it's big chunks of garlic in there. So you want to start with the shrimp. They've already been cleaned, the vein. Um, season them, olive oil, salt, pepper, red chili flakes, just mix them up. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands. You know, I'm gonna cross contaminate here, just a quick wash. Um, I'm gonna just sa saute down the shrimp a minute or two in some olive oil just to like get a little bit clear. Um, you don't want to cook them all the way through because you're gonna put them back in the sauce in the end, so it's just kind of a quick, just to kind of give it a nice little season. Um, I'm gonna start with some shallots. Shallots are in the onion family, a little milder, a little sweeter, it has a, a better complex taste to it. So you can use shallots, garlic, it's probably your your staple in the Italian dish. Um, you see I'm using a whole head of garlic here. Um, best way to do it is just to kind of <laughs> just hit it, uh, peel it. You see I'm doing a rough chop here. Saute it down with some more olive oil. Um, I use the same pan I had the shrimp in it, and gives it a little flavor as well. I'm gonna put this into the oil, let that saute for a minute or two. Um, I like to use whole tomatoes, whole canned tomatoes. You could use diced tomatoes, you could use stewed tomatoes, whatever you want to use. I like the whole tomatoes because I like it chunky. So I use a, a bigger tomato and I do a rougher chop on that as well. You can see I'm going to toss that in there as well. You want to save the juice as well. Um, I use the juice, put that in there. You can see I use some red wine, of course. I um, usually use white wine, but I like the red wine. Um, and some tomato paste. Tomato paste is what you use to kind of thicken it up. Um, the red wine kind of does the same thing as well. Um, I like the spiciness. I use a all back. Um, I like the spiciness of wine. It really turned out well. So I'm gonna turn the heat down. Let me get my water on ready for my fried, uh, my linguine. Um, I bought a fresh linguine. You'll see that in a minute. I want to do a quick uh, Parmesan sauce. So I'm gonna do a butter, uh, heavy cream, Parmesan. Cook that down. Salt, pepper. I use black pepper. Some people use white pepper because it's a white sauce, but it doesn't really matter. I'm blending it in. I'm just gonna let that reduce down until you get sort of an Alfredo sauce. Um, it's not gonna be as thick. So I'm gonna add that in there in a few minutes. Um, so this is cooking down. It's getting a little thick. I'm gonna turn it down because um, I want to work on getting my. I'm doing a. Yeah, look at all that. <laughs> I'm doing a bread as well with this. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mince the garlic down. I want a nice fine chop of the garlic. I did butter, and olive oil. I'm gonna cook this down. So I'm doing garlic bread. So I'm gonna put that down in there. Um, the flavor is really nice. I do some Italian seasoning as well, so it's flavored. Um, using French bread, you can use Italian bread, uh, baguettes, whatever you want to use. Baguettes are a little harder, so I like the French bread. I get a fresh bread from the supermarket. And I just lather it onto the bread. You see, you got the big chunks of garlic on there, which is really nice. I don't wrap it, I don't need to. Um, I'm only gonna have it in the oven for a few minutes. Um, some Italian seasoning. And I like Parmesan cheese, so I add Parmesan cheese to it. Gives it a nice nice flavor to it. I'm gonna throw that in for a few minutes. You gotta be careful when you take this out, it's gonna be really hot. Here goes this fresh pasta that I'm talking about. Any Whole Foods, uh, Fresh Market, anything like that will have it. I just like the taste of it as opposed to the box. This I only had to kind of cook for about two or three minutes, so this whole process is kind of pretty fast. Um, and I like this pasta as well, it's a fresh pasta. So here I'm going to add in the Parmesan cream sauce that I made a little earlier. So it's going to kind of give us a pinkish hue. I kind of incorporated this from someplace, but <laughs> that's what all cooks do. You don't call it stealing, you call it incorporating from all over the place. So I season this as well, salt, pepper, chili flakes. Your chili flakes is what's going to give you a spiciness. And when I say spicy, it's not high spicy, like you can't bear it. It's just seasoned spice, so it gives a good flavor. So now you see that I added the shrimp in there. 
That's why I didn't <coughs> overcook it because I'm going to cook this down in here as well and you don't want your shrimp to overcook. And I'm going to take this off in a few minutes. I'm going to add the linguine to this. Toss this around. Fresh basil, of course. Um, I love fresh basil, so I'm going to do a nice rough chop on that. And I'm going to actually use this two times. I'm going to actually mix it in here as well, and then I'm going to use it to garnish it at the end. You don't have to garnish it, but... I would like to. So we go on with the plate. Uh, kind of do a circular uh, motion with the pasta, get that on a plate. Fresh Parmesan, of course. That's from what I grated earlier. I grated enough so I didn't have to keep grating throughout the process. I had some basil left. It comes out the garlic bread. Now the garlic bread, you just have to be careful because remember that's oil and butter. Um, the oil is really hot, so it makes it a little harder to handle. You see, it's kind of hot here. But it's kind of a quick chop. I have my bread knife. I'm gonna take this up into the bowl. I'm gonna top this off with some more parmesan. <laughs> the fresh parmesan, you can't really beat that. Now you wanna give it a few minutes for that to kind of cool down as well before you eat it because you don't wanna burn your mouth with that hot oil. So here goes your Fra Diablo, the garlic bread. You can't do anything without wine. I did a nice red wine. Uh, we did a Malbec, which is really nice, a Chilean Malbec, which really goes well with the spiciness of the pasta. Well, thanks again for watching. This was awesome. Tasty even better. Let's see if I want to do another video. I might come back, I might not. It was a pleasure.